I will start making a series more about dating and different types of my experience myself, um, dating each type. Um, it's interesting when you, when you are with people who are your gold and silver or bronze pair and, um, at first it could be kind of rocky cause you don't really necessarily come eye to eye with each other because you see the world completely different. Um, but that's what makes the golden pair so amazing. And, um, now dealing with, with the death of his, the ENTJ's dog, um, kind of just changes my whole perspective and just how I have to view everybody, you know, I mean, I'm at the point now where I don't really judge anybody except based on their type. And, um, and so it's just interesting to me for different concepts of what an ENTJ finds important and what I find important in the situation. Now with me, um, I have my memories with me at all times um, of the dog and I'm okay with that and I move on. Collecting physical memorabilia, photos, things like that, um, it doesn't mean anything to me. I don't really carry photos of like my family and my phone and things like that. Um, I, I have photography on my phone basically so I can communicate with other people on social media. Um, but photos and memorabilia, that's never really been important to me, which makes sense being an ENTP because SE is so low. Um, those are called physical memories and things like that. Um, and then just different things that, you know, he finds important and myself, I just have to, you know, accept that, you know, he values it and, uh, that's good enough. And so, um, watching him collect like hair is interesting concept to me. Um, and it, it actually fingernails too. And, uh, yes, my boyfriend is a science project in my mind. Um, and so, um, I analyze everybody and it includes him. And so I, I find that interesting to me and I wish I kind of understand it better, but I don't. And so it just had to learn from observations of other people and realize that everyone has a different way of viewing the world. And it's a beautiful thing, I think, you know, when ENTJ views the world, he's concerned about burying his dog and he wants him to be clean. To me, SE Demon says, I see no point to that because you're going to cover him with dirt anyways. <laughs> but it's important to him. Physicality, cleanliness, things like that are very important to SEs, especially optimistic ones. Um, He has a very um, big focus on the way people viewed the dog physically and how beautiful he was and how serene and how graceful he was when he ran around. To me, it didn't really bother me. I, I just liked the fact because he was just like, he was a good dog. And so that's what I liked about him. He was fun to be around. And so that's just kind of how I viewed him. And he entertained me, you know, that's what ENTPs want to be entertained. Um, I didn't really care much really about the physicality of him, I didn't really think much of it. Uh, physically, you know, it's just like he eats dog food, he runs around and barks, you know. All dogs are the same in my mind, but, you know, the personality of it is a little bit more important to me with Effie Child and um, having good intuition with it and just, I don't know, feeling safe around it and secure. <laughs> And so it's interesting to me. And like location's really important where he's buried. Um, different things I've learned that he wants to be buried when he dies with other past pets that are, he already has in urns. And to me, that just sounds absurd. You know, you can cremate me, bury me. I, I care less, you know, where I'm at, where I'm buried, who's with me. All that doesn't really matter to me. But for an SCU location, physical emblems, which makes kind of, kind of sense, you know, when you think of like the pharaohs, you know, most of them are men, men are typically SPs, and so they're going to want to be buried with their, their weapons and their, their toys and their gold and their possessions and all their physical things they earned and stuff like that. And so um, just my thoughts on, you know, the difference between SE and SI, and, you know, and my perspective and viewpoints of watching the ENTJ deal with the death of his dog um, he had for 12 years and you know, and the difference of the way I would view it. And it's, it's worlds apart and worlds different, but that's okay.